all of you are talking about this horrible accident that happened on the set of Alec Baldwin's new movie Rust in New Mexico. So to tell us all about it, we are joined by senior editor at Variety and host of the Just for Variety podcast, Mark Malkin. Mark, thank you so much for joining us despite this horrible tragedy. What do you know about what happened? Please fill us in. What we know at this moment is that Alec Baldwin was on set. They were either rehearsing or filming a scene, um, and he fired a gun that fatally injured the cinematographer and injured the director. Mm. Wow. Mm -mm. And you know, Mark, I'm going to read to our viewers, and I'm sure you've already seen Baldwin's statement that was released. But to our viewers, this is what Alec Baldwin wrote. There are no words to convey my shock and sadness regarding the tragic accident that took the life of Helena Hutchins, a wife, mother, and deeply admired colleague of ours. I'm fully cooperating with the police investigation to address how this tragedy occurred. Erica, you had a question for Mark. Yeah, you know, obviously Alec Baldwin is a huge star and that's where everyone's focus seemingly immediately went. But what is known about Helena Hutchins? Has her family said anything? At this point, Helena Hutchins' family has not said anything. Um, her friends have been speaking out. Twitter is full of remembrances of Helena. From everything we understand, this was a woman who loved what she did. Yeah. She was very excited about it. Aww. If you look at her Instagram, there were plenty of photos um, from the set of Rust, how excited she was to be there. They said that she would do anything to get a shot, that she was committed to um, her work. She has a nine-year-old son. Um, and also a husband, um, but we haven't heard from the family at this point. My God. All right, I just, I have to ask the thing that like everybody's asking, how did this happen? Are there not some kind of like firearms expert or is there not some kind of precautions for this? So a system in place, so make sure no one gets shot on set. I think of Brandon Lee. I think of what have we come from them? What do you think, Mark? That is a great question and that those are a lot of questions everyone is trying to figure out now. What I think people have to realize is when they hear prop gun, yeah. people think it's a toy gun or think it's a gun that doesn't have the power to injure someone or even worse, fatally injure someone. But these prop guns are guns. They are loaded with ammunition. It's a, it's a matter, it's a question of what was the power of that ammunition in the gun? So the question is, when they say that this gun had live ammunition, what that says to me was that this was a bullet in there that is used for when you are pointing a gun at someone or something that you want to hurt or damage. Yeah, wow. That somehow this live ammunition got in the gun, who was handling the gun, who was responsible for the safety protocols right. on the set. This was a small independent film. This is not a big Disney production or mm -hmm. Warner Brothers or a big studio film. This is a small set. The unions are already speaking out, saying that the person who is in charge of the props on this movie was not a union member. Oh, wow. Boy. Oh, boy. Okay, so a lot of unanswered questions. We thank you, Mark, for joining us and for filling us in mm -hmm. on the latest. We appreciate you. Thanks. Thank you, Mark. Okay, so Al, we didn't get to hear from you. Um, what are you thinking? I mean, what a tragedy. An absolute tragedy, you know, and what I'm thinking is kind of strange, Sam. I was, I was listening to uh, the brief, uh, you know, description of the woman that lost her life. And he said that she'd do anything to get a shot. And uh, for people that have worked in this industry or any industry where you meet somebody in there and they're in the exact right job, the job that they were born to have. I think about Rob, they're, right. Ira, yeah, like right, they're right. just, our cameramen. Our, our crew is like, we, I listen to them talk sometimes. And when people love what they do, obviously th this is an unspeakable tragedy, but like even that nine year old kid that can be like, my mom was a badass. Has forever impacted everybody that she's ever worked for or worked with. And I look at somebody like her, and even though her life was tragically cut short, I don't know what would be a bigger tragedy if somebody like that had a job that they weren't passionate about or that they were able to have a job they were, but it was just cut short. So I just want to think about her as well and just uh, not just look at her as a sympathetic figure, but also look at her as as somebody that changed the lives of people around her how many like young ap's looked at her as like i'm gonna do that one day there's not I many can, women cinematographers. if i can see it i can be it i mean it's a real thing every day she's an inspiration to people yeah how do you feel erica 
You know, I wanted to ask specifically about Helena because, uh, I, you know, as I said, Alec Baldwin is, of course, a household name. And when this tragedy was talked about on Twitter in the most vulnerable minutes, you know, the story was it's so callous, like we've become so callous. You know, it was the conspiracy theories and, you know, stuff about Alec Baldwin and how people feel about him. And, you know, I think maybe I have a heightened sensitivity to um, loss, especially for the grieving family and friends in the most vulnerable time, which generally is right after the tragedy occurs or the death occurs. Maybe that comes from being the daughter of a funeral director. But we are incredibly broken as a society. We are incredibly callous <laughs> that you could have a situation like this and people are rushing to get their meme out first. So, you know, obviously I'm thinking of her family and her friends who, I mean, it's gonna be a long time before anything can, anyone can make sense of this. Their this meme is or a, their narrative. All. This yeah. is a senseless tragedy. And I would say, Tori, my heart breaks for everyone on set. Me too. Like, can you imagine witnessing that? My heart breaks for Alec Baldwin Me feeling too. responsible. Me too. I think about who had to make the call. Every, I think who about- Who had to make the phone call to the husband? That's who I think about. Yeah, I, yeah, and I just have to say, at, at some point, and I don't, I know I jumped to the legal aspects of it. When Brandon Lee was shot, his mother sued a lot of people, and at some point, is the prop master up for manslaughter for negligence? At some point, I know that's where Quite my possibly. mind goes. Is is there emotional distress that? Alec Baldwin can sue for the prop master because he then shot some and killed someone. What about the PAs, the exactly, other cameramen, exactly. everybody involved? So but it, this I is just, a smaller production, and this is what happens. Doesn't matter. When, no. No, I'm not saying. Yeah. I'm not saying it was meant to be. I'm just saying this is what happens if I'm like Sam. I want to shoot my movie on a shoestring bu budget. You'd be all in, but at the same time, we probably would not have the protocols that if Warner Brother was financing. I so still you believe it was a on, union shoot, though. So but they, they said it wasn't a union. No, person. he was not no, a union, he, and that's he, a problem. Yeah, that's a problem. That's, yes. But it was a union shoot. I think she's absolutely right. That poor child. My heart imagine. breaks. Yeah. Well, coming up on DBL, our conversation continues as we get Hollywood's reaction to the onset tragedy. A lot of stars are reacting to what happened on the set of Alec Baldwin's movie Rust in New Mexico. Local officials say director of photography Helena Hutchins was killed after Alec discharged a prop firearm on set. Elijah Wood tweeted, quote, absolutely horrifying and devastating news. My heart goes out to her family. Actor Joe Mangianello, who worked with Helena on the set of his movie, Arch Enemy said he was shocked and called her an incredible talent and great person. Holly Robinson Pete called the accident horrific and disturbing and said, quote, I've been on sets with guns. We are shown the empty barrel and make sure there's nothing in the chamber. How did this happen? Alec Baldwin's brother, Stephen, posted on Instagram asking people to pray for all involved in the wake of this tragic accident. Tori, what do you make of the reactions? I just think a lot of them are seasoned actors and they're used to a set in which there's a firearms expert and like Holly Robinson Pete said and Cameron Matheson echoed, they are shown the chamber. I mean, after the Brandon Lee accident that happened a long time 1993. ago. 1993. Thank you, 1993. There were changes made and that was on purpose and the Brandon Lee family sued the production company and the, uh, uh, the director and you would think, as she said so eloquently, Erica, that in 2021 technology, perhaps we go to air guns. Perhaps we go to special effects. Are we still using real ammunition might be a little outdated at this point because even one accident is too much. So that's how I feel. Yeah, I, I do think that people are kind of suckers for the nostalgia. I remember when um, Tarantino came out with Grindhouse maybe 10, 12 years. And some actors they, prefer yeah, it because they, they, yeah. it helps Feels them it. get yeah. into the Right, uh, the actual physical, people like the way film Look looks rather Cruise. than digital. Yeah, it's Tom Cruise still does his own stunts. So like if we could just easily put CGI in for everything, we would. I think it would be much safer. But I, I don't know it, how that will play with the actors and what the audience is that they're Yeah, but to say to. that to the whole Baldwin and Hutchins family and Sousa family, I know, it's just hard. Erica, what are you thinking? Yeah, I, I, you know, this is, it's, who would have thought, especially after, it's not like this is the first time that this has ever happened. Yeah. So who would have thought that something like this was possible for it to happen in this day and age? Like there have been so many advancements in technology. There seems, it seems as though there has to be a, a way or a method to ensure that this is 
not even in the realm of possibility, but here we are and I just really want people to just take a beat, as I said earlier, and think about the fact that this is an extreme tragedy that is going to cause PTSD and a lot of, uh, there's gonna be a lot of uh, effects that happen to everyone right. surrounding this production. So before you're really quick to talk about something political or post your meme or have a funny joke at Lead someone's from expense, empathy. maybe that's the way you should go. I agree, thank you for saying that, Erica.